In this video, we will look at how to properly prune and prepare various types of hydrangeas, ensuring they survive the winter and bloom beautifully in the next growing season. It's a Sprouted Seeds YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. So, Panicle Hydrangea, Hydrangea Paniculata. Gardeners often debate on whether to prune panicle hydrangeas in the fall or not prune them at all. If you live in southern regions with mild winters, you can afford to leave your hydrangeas unpruned before winter. However, you have to trim these plants if you live in a cooler climate. However, heavy pruning in the fall can be a mistake. The buds may freeze severely if you severely pruned your stems, leaving just three to four buds, and the winter was cold and snowless. After that, you'll have to trim everything back in the spring and bide your time until new stems emerge. It is feasible to leave the dried flowers in place throughout the winter in warmer climates, which will enhance the landscape's aesthetic appeal. However, if you live in a region with a mix of snow, freezing rain, and extreme cold, it's best to prune just the flower heads before winter. If you do not do this, then you will get a broken bush. If freezing rain passes and then frost hits, it will all freeze. And when the wind starts to shake the ice stems, the bush will break. Also, tying the bush together and adding a mulch layer of pine needles, peat, or compost will protect the base from harsh conditions. Smooth Hydrangea, Hydrangea Arborescent Pruning smooth hydrangeas is quite similar to pruning panicle hydrangeas. Pruning to two buds for more compact growth or to four buds for taller growth and earlier blooms. If you would rather have a taller hydrangea, I suggest pruning to five or six buds instead three or four. These are two extra safety buds for winter protection. Always trim at an angle above the buds to keep water from building up, which can cause rot in the wet seasons. Cut off the bloom heads and save the remaining stems for winter, just like with panicle hydrangeas. You can thin out and trim the bush to the height you want it to reach in the spring. Remember, the most productive branches for blooming are from the first and second years. Any branches thicker than a pencil should be removed as they are old and less productive. Weak, thin branches ought to be removed as well. For now, just remove the flower heads, mulch the base of the plant, and tie the plant to shield it from severe snowfall. Serrata hydrangea, mountain hydrangea. Serrata hydrangeas need winter protection in cooler areas. Starting in mid-September, remove the lower leaves to the middle of the height of the bush to help it prepare for winter dormancy. Before covering, trim off the flower heads, mulch the base of the shrub, bind it together, and wrap it for winter protection. The plant will be protected by this procedure even in below freezing weather. Big Leaf Hydrangea, Hydrangea macrophylla. Big Leaf Hydrangeas need winter protection in colder locations since they are very susceptible to the cold. It's crucial to start covering them as soon as the temperature drops, but before the frost arrives. Remove the lower leaves in the fall so the bush can get ready for the winter. Before the ground freezes, give the plant frequent watering. Once frosts begin, remove all leaves. Cover the plant with a single layer of breathable fabric for the early stages of frost. When the cold weather becomes more stable, cut off the flower heads, tie the bush, and cover it completely to protect it from the winter elements. I'll make a video about covering big leaf hydrangea in cold regions later. Each type of hydrangea has specific needs, so follow these tips and your hydrangeas will be able to bloom magnificently in the next season.